Hey everybody. Hey everybody, guess where we are? Yeah, nobody knows where we are. Well, a few people know where we are. Hi, we're Happy Hour Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We are full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska, and we are not in Lincoln, Nebraska. No. We've been talking about getting away, taking a vacation. We're filming on our phones the way, so I keep looking at the wrong place, but. Where are we supposed to look, over here? Yeah, right there. <clears throat> so anyway, we took a flight yesterday. Mm-hmm, that was and fun. where are we, Donna? We're in Cleveland. We're in Cleveland, Ohio. We, we told a couple of people we were going to Cleveland, and they said, why would you go to Cleveland? Well. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I always wanted to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and Donna was like, well, let's go to Cleveland. There's yes. things to do. We didn't have to drive. We flew, so he got to rest along the way. Thank goodness, because when the Uber driver was bringing us to the, oh, man, to our, we have an Airbnb or a VRBO or whatever apartment, and we were driving into downtown here, and he's like, there's three things going on. There's a baseball game, there's a concert, and there's something else, some festival or something yeah. going on. So it was, the traffic was horrendous. But we're pretty much within walking distance of all kinds of cool things. And we you can think. see the lake. Yeah, we're right by Lake Erie, um, so we're gonna we're gonna try to film like vlog style as we go yeah. for the next few days. We're here. It is Saturday morning right now, and we leave Tuesday morning. And so. they just woke up. Yeah, we slept in a ways because it's ten o'clock our time, eleven o'clock their time. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm not sure what all we're gonna be showing. Hopefully, we get something cool to yeah. show you. But that's where we're at. We're in Cleveland. We are on an actual vacation. So. Yes, we are. Let's go. All right, here we go. Okay, Donna wanted to show you, like, from our apartment. This is from our window. Yeah. Look, you can see the lake over there. And there's downtown just over to our left where the big buildings are. It looks and closer in person. Yeah, of course. Look straight down. We've got a guy that's entertaining us right there. Oh, he's back. I told you. This guy yeah. here, he has been you can zoom harassing in there. the people. He yells at some people when they go by and stuff. So we're going to leave and we're going to stay on this side of the road over mm -hmm. here. So, But anyway, it's kind of cool. We can see the lake from here. And we're going to go hang out in all over, all over in there. Yes. So here we go. All right, we are downtown. We just we just There's ate lunch. Donna's <laughs> we're definitely look, tourists. Look, There's a pigeon. pigeon. See the pigeon over there? <laughs> um, we're walking down towards the I don't know what you call it, the pier, the harbor, the lake. I don't know, but we have to stop. We're gonna give our reviews on our restaurant. We wait at Mabel's Barbecue, but right now we're by the Federal Reserve Bank, and Donna is tripping out because the two statues. Let me show these to you. Come here and explain what you're talking about. All right. Your this finger's gonna really big. This one has a hand. This one does. See the hand up there? Where's they're the holding. Rest of the body? They're holding like there's a hand up there, and this one broke off. that's broke off. Whatever was up there. So where's the other she's body like, parts? "Where's the other body parts? What's going on?" So. We don't know what's going on, but that's the Federal Reserve Bank of <laughs> Cleveland. I'm gonna have to Google that. So anyway, we're walking, we're almost to City Hall. Um, this might be really bouncy, I'm sorry if it is. Mabel's Barbecue, here's what I'm gonna say about it. They tried, they tried too hard. We're from Nebraska. We're from the Midwest. Hard. It was good. It was good, but they like made the everything like better. fancy. Like there's nothing, ours is better basically, in our opinion. Yeah. Uh, Mulberry Barbecue in Lincoln and Kansas City has great barbecue. It was just uh, kind of like they were trying too hard to make every dish fancy yeah. instead of just focusing on just taste, I think. That's my opinion. But anyway, we're going to go down. with great poo pooer. I am not poo pooing. Hey, I'm not poo pooing. I'm saying that our barbecue is excellente. That's excellente. all. So anyway, we're going to go down by the water. We are walking and we are right next to, ah, oh, you can't see there's a tree. <laughs> there's a big building here, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But we are coming here Monday morning. We have tickets to go in at 10.30. So we're thinking it might, won't be as touristy then. But yeah, that's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So we will go there in a couple days. We're just trying to get to the water. You can see it. We can see it. All right, so Whoa, there is that was really close. Chabrero. Is that oh, what yeah. said? Is that what you said? Chabrero. 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 
Chabrero. Like church, but not quite. Chabrero. I don't know. Uh, Italian restaurant. We just had dinner. Yeah. Um, we went. We, we've been doing a lot of just walking around downtown, looking at things. We tried to take a boat ride on the water, a uh, narrated, narrated thing, but it was all booked, and so we couldn't do that. But that's all right. We kind of have a plan. We're gonna go to a couple like museum things on the water tomorrow a lot of morning. The streets with the flowers, and they're so pretty. Yeah, it, it hasn't been nothing. We're nothing we worth mentioning too much but there's like a baseball game starting about now a few blocks away so it got really super busy and we kind of hung out in a couple stores and stuff just kind of <laughs> looking around uh we have had fun we just had dinner here at sugar arrows and we went <laughs> we, we we rated higher than lunch yes, it was better it was than the barbecue good. lunch lasagna. um it's an italian restaurant yeah lasagna and now we have a right by our airbnb there is a pizza place we had last night and they got really good homemade cookies so we are going to go pick up some of that because the Husker game starts in about an hour yes and I brought the Roku from home and hooked it up so I can watch the Husker game tonight so we're gonna go watch football and tomorrow we'll just see what tomorrow holds yes. anything else Donna that's it oh look at that fancy car oh there's a fancy fancy <laughs> fancy however I don't <laughs> get it <laughs> I don't get it. Let's walk. <laughs> yeah. All right. It is. You can see the boat behind us. Sunday afternoon. We're going to go. We're taking a tour of a submarine, USS World Cod. War II. World War II submarine. Yes. It's Sunday. We're having a lazy, lazy mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Uh, watched the football game last night and just vegged at the uh, apartment we have. And I, I made don't know. cup cozies. So what? Just relaxing. <laughs> Anyway, we're just going to have a lazy day. We're going to see a couple sights and then uh, probably watch some more football. And tomorrow we go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which I'm super excited about. What we're going to go check inside the this sub. submarine and check it out. All right, Donna's going down into the sub. It's going to be interesting for a big guy like me in confined areas. But this is the tour, self-guided tour. And we go down into the sub. Down, down, down she goes. She. <laughs> she said, "Do we go down there?" And I'm like, "Yeah, we go down into the sub." And I, I was worried she was gonna be like, "I don't want to," and she's like, "Cool." So I'm happy that her reaction was that. This is cool. So we're just at the beginning, and we're not gonna show you like the whole tour or anything. But this is you come down, and you're literally in the torpedo room. There's an audio tour thing you can listen to. But, like you can see, the torpedo chutes or whatever they call them, there's six, three on each side, and there's all kinds of levers and knobs and gauges and all kinds of crap. But Look then they sleep. The, space is to sleep. the torpedo crew sleeps up here in these things. Well, everyone sleeps. And, well, not everyone, the torpedo guys. Um, and, and there's little up. lockers up here. And then the food is stored up there for these guys. And these metal things slide out. So I just, we just came down here and I just thought this is super cool. So like I said, I'm not going to show you the whole tour, but I just wanted to show you this because that's cool. They're getting away, Donna. They're getting away. Get them. <laughs> this is cool. It's got a seat on each side and it stays on here when they dive. And the seat over here and this one when you spin the handles it goes up and down and then this one goes right and left so the two guys work together to set in the sights what they were shooting at which Don and I were targeting where's it at we were targeting that boat right there so anyway pretty darn cool if you ask me what about you Donna cool <laughs> that was very cool I just want to say after going through the inside of the submarine they did not have a lot of 320 pound guys six foot two guys on this boat hey everybody it is Monday morning we're going on the go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame we are on our way we we're looking for breakfast Donna what do you think of Cleveland <laughs> wait uh, we're not a fan. We're, we're, we're used to Nebraska. Everybody's nice. It's quieter. 
it's we can't even find breakfast. We found a Dunkin' Donuts. The place is closed on Mondays. Found a Dunkin' Donuts, and they have all the benches. They have everything roped off. You can't go in the store and stay in there. You have to eat and leave, or order and leave. So we found a park bench outside a hotel here. We're gonna eat here, and hopefully nobody bothers us, because man, not a fan. But it's all right. We're on our way to the Hall of Fame. Donna's gonna get a swarm of birds attacking us. They know I'm recording. Oh, there's a pigeon. Hi, baby. Come on. Come on. We made it, you guys. There's Donna. We need to talk because of the music. There'll be a lot of music today. Yeah. But we are at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and we're they open in just a few minutes. So we're gonna go check it out. Okay, we're <laughs> we're at the Hall of Fame, and there's a little thing where you can create a band logo and a band name and a design whatever oh, and you can and it gives you stickers it gives you like two stickers Donna's gonna fall over where are you going the thing behind me was tripping me up so we want to show you the stickers the band name and logo and stickers that we created <laughs> so here they are and I'll, I'll post pictures up in case you can't see them good Donna's is rehomers of stuff and mine is great poo pooer. <laughs> so, <laughs> thought you guys would get a kick out of that. Carry on. <laughs> Welcome home, Donna. Welcome home. Oh hey. my goodness, I'm a mess after traveling all day. It's Tuesday night. We flew home. We drove then from Omaha, and we got here about five o'clock. Um, we want to put a bow on this video and just kind of review our. Our trip, the unexpected trip. We didn't tell many people we were taking it. We just thought we'll just keep it on the down low. Just wanted to get away for a bit. Yeah, so we went and we're going to raid a couple things. Pick, and Steve picked the destination. I picked the destination. The whole goal was the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Always wanted to go there. And so we See stayed in Cleveland. Like we <laughs> stayed downtown. Right on the edge of what you would probably say is downtown like... Everything was within walking distance. Um, so if we're going to do a couple ratings, I would like to uh, say these are just totally honest and it's not being positive or negative or anything like that. This is just what we found. I'm positive that I don't want to go back. <laughs> the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I want to rate it. I, earlier yes. in the day, I was thinking 7.5. I think I want to go 8. Yeah, it was good. It was fun. It was very cool. I was, was a little disappointed. It was $15. It was 30 Was it 30 a 30. piece? Oh, well, it was yeah. still worth that, too. It was yeah, it was, it was very cool. A couple personal preferences. Like, they were promoting... Like, my favorite band is Metallica. And they were promoting Metallica all over the place. They were in video clips. They were all over the walls. They were everywhere. But the only thing, the only display I saw was a Fight Fire with Fire lyrics written out. And it wasn't the original. It was a reproduction of it. That was all I saw, like, that was Metallica. 
I read somewhere that Cliff Burton has a base in there that they own, um, but I never saw it, so I don't know. And then the band Rush. I love the band Rush, iconic band, and I don't remember seeing anything from Rush. I did. There was like a song. They did had you? a bunch of, of pages that songs were written on, so like maybe their original... There were reproductions, like... You know, copies of their original... Yeah, you yeah. did? Okay, mm -hmm. I didn't see that. And I just thought there'd be, you know, a lot of bands they had... They had a lot of things from bands that are not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in there, which is cool. It was very cool. A lot of very cool things. I'm not poo-pooing the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Of rock. Just yeah, of personal music. preferences, a couple bands. I wish I would have seen a couple more things, whatever. So... Other than that, it was very cool. I'm I'm glad I went, um, and I I think she had a good time too. Mm -hmm. Like it was fun. We got to make our band stickers, which we're gonna put on the wall here. But anyway, that was fun. Now, like I said, we stayed downtown. Everything was within walking. Donna, how would you rate it from one to ten? How would you rate the city of Cleveland? Just downtown, not not going into Anything we didn't see, but just where we were. Of the cities I've ever been to, or cities that exist? So just places we've ever been, because we, we don't know what it's like. Go ahead. Two. Two? <laughs> I was going to say three. Um, we pull into town. We get an Uber driver. He's really nice. There's three big events going on in town, so there's cars and backups everywhere. But he's very nice and knowledgeable of the road. So we get there. We pull up. He dumps us off, and we're like... Uh, yeah. Oh. Um, because there's homeless people. There's um, not, and, and a first lot of, of all, partying don't, going don't on. Don't bash us because we're knocking homeless people. We're not we're knocking, not knocking homeless people. them. We're just not used to them approaching you wanting money all the time so we couldn't get the codes to work to get into this secure building finally got with in. our big big suitcase you know yeah. obviously just rolled into town and there were some guys out front working on their car and so we finally got in and got into the elevator and there was a soft spot in the middle of the elevator <laughs> so you had thought we to, were gonna fall through you had to stand around the outside <laughs> But we get up to the eighth floor, we get to the door, whew, and then we couldn't figure out how to get in. <laughs> we so figured then it out, though. we figured it out, we got in, and it was very nice. So as long as we were inside the apartment with the door closed. Yeah, it was an apartment, we did an Airbnb apartment. Yeah. Um, so here's what here's our problem with downtown Cleveland. There are things to do. There was there was baseball games, we didn't go to any baseball games, and there was the, you know, we, we saw the submarine, was and there was Paul another... McCartney? Concert, no, Billy there? Joel was oh, the was night Billy Joel. we rolled in. Billy Joel was there. If I'd have known then, we could have gotten tickets. That'd yeah. have been cool to go see, but we didn't. So that was at the. And there the, was another anyway. event. There was a lot going on, which is just that's what it is. It's downtown. It's vibrant, whatever. And when like Monday Night Football is on in Cleveland, and they show the lights, and it looks so cool, like it looks really cool, right? <laughs> well, the problem is that's fine. We have no issue with any of that, and it was kind of cool in that respect. The problem is, if you've ever been to Omaha, and a lot of the people that watch this is gonna be local. And the people that came to Plains Profit last year, we went and then we were down in the old market in Omaha. The and that was what we were open. expecting. People are walking around at night and we're going in the stores and, and it's really fun and interesting. And there's restaurants open. And there's restaurants, there's bars, there's, there's quirky stores, there's touristy stores, there's all kinds of things. And there's people all over the place and there's carriage rides in the street and there's, you know, lights and everything else. And there's, you know, it's just very vibrant, especially on the weekend. We were there on the weekend. We got there Friday night. And it's that's what we were expecting was downtown Cleveland is such a cool place to be and blah, blah, blah. Well, we didn't go anywhere that first night yeah. except Nick's door to get pizza, and that was scary. But anyway, <laughs> so the next morning we did walk, and everything, there weren't anything, there wasn't anything open. There's no stores. Uh, what there is, we walked around a lot over the three days we were there. We walked around a lot and we saw a lot of things. We didn't film most of it. We didn't film that much, which There's was more intentional. more stores in the airports. Yes. When we went to the airport this morning, we were walking from where we went through security to our terminal and stuff. And there are more stores in the airport to buy things for Cleveland than there was in downtown Cleveland. Because as we walked around, 
90%, 95% of the things that were open were either A, food, or B, Close. alcohol, bars. Or the rest of the buildings were all closed. Or they were food or alcohol restaurants that were closed. <laughs> yeah, there was that too. And we're not we're not knocking any of that. If you want something to eat, our cool. Uber, Uber driver said that especially since COVID, they've begun to close. Yeah, it's way different than it so. was before COVID, which is everywhere. I get that. But like we said, what we really had to compare it to was Omaha's downtown. Um and it just And Kentucky. I mean we've been to big towns. So, and we've yeah. walked around in St. Louis before. We were just very disappointed because when we went there, Donna's like, you know, we're going to, we're going to walk around, we're going to go to shops and we're going to maybe, maybe get a couple of shirts and, you know, we're just whatever, like. Experience like, the downtown. Experience the downtown. And. Well, we experienced we, the downtown. We experienced the downtown and we won't ever go back. And we're not trying to knock anybody in Cleveland. It's just, that's how it is there. And you cannot go a quarter of a block without somebody hitting you up for money and it's not just homeless people it's not homeless people we did buy one guy breakfast i mean we we do you know we try to be nice people whatever but the last night just last night actually we went down to get just the pizza for dinner we were done for the day we came in and we thought let's just go out and get pizza and there's literally the door that we go out and then there's a door to a vape shop and then there's the pizza door it's two doors down and we got hit up for money on the way back. It's like you can't even, <laughs> can't, can't, and the guy was not homeless. He was not homeless. He looked like he probably had a job. He's like, hey, hey, what do you what call do you me? What do you call that panhandling? Yeah, panhandling is just everywhere. Everybody's asking. Even the birds, you saw the birds. The birds want fed too. So, uh, but anyway, we're, and some of y'all might but think we're being we negative and whatever to... and like we don't understand hard times we do understand hard times oh yeah it just was not that's part of normal life but it was so rampant everywhere everywhere we turned and we were constantly like watching over our shoulder because that's all there was there wasn't the people milling about and you know tourists in the area other than when a game would come in and let out and then people just come and go then other than that that's all it was. So. So will we go back? No, 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 no. If I go to Cleveland, it's going to be because I'm uh, connecting to another flight, and I'll stay <laughs> at the airport and I'll go shop at the airport if I really feel like I need to shop. But you know, I tr not trying to be negative. Just in other places that we've been, you know, from we have, we don't travel a lot. I wouldn't say we we're small-town to, people, but we're Midwestern. We're Midwestern. People. And, oh, that's another thing. Like, people ain't nice because they're people, you're probably used to people looking all around. Well, walking as all we, around well I understand it now because as we walk down the sidewalk and I say good morning to people or hello to people <laughs> or like whatever. Like we do in Nebraska. And they, you know, look away. Well, I think they're probably expecting probably, us to ask them for money or you're something. You're probably absolutely because if right. You, I mean, look at and then we went so monday morning we get up early and we're like okay let's go down there's this little bakery and it has breakfast sandwiches and coffee and they're everything else Mondays. and they're closed like everything was closed like we did have entertainment though free entertainment outside our window yeah a guy across the street would sit the first night he was yelling at people yeah and then the next and night the he had music and he was, he was like jamming but he was just there every day um and then we like we forgot toothpaste so we went to cvs while we were walking the first their afternoon, toothpaste their was toothpaste locked was up. locked up. We <laughs> we had we found the travel size, guys, but their soap was locked up. Yeah, so it was it wasn't what we were expecting. If we had to do it all over again, I would be like, I'll just watch videos of the Rock and Roll of Fame and we'll go somewhere else. But we didn't know that going in, and there, I'm sure there's cool areas and there's cool areas of town and suburbs and all that. But we were just thinking downtown Omaha would be like downtown Cleveland and it'd be fun and we were just wrong. So so for our next vacation, we're open to suggestions. <laughs> right. So where would you go? It'll be a while. So. Anyway. Uh, yeah, um, that's it. We, we wanted to put a bow on this little journey. And tomorrow we get back to work because look at this mess. Now, do you regret it? 
No. All that being said, do you regret it? No, you don't know until you go. Yeah, no, we did have fun. We made the most of it. Yeah. Uh, we had a very relaxing time. We didn't have any work to do. We did. We were flu, so we couldn't go thrifting. We well, there's nowhere the we could have thrift game. anyway. We watched part we of watched the, the Broncos. Broncos. We watched a lot of football. Um, I made a lot of cup cozies. You'll see those listed soon. Yeah, so, um, so we did relax, and we, we did put, from put the down business. the work. Uh, we let eBay kind of die because it hasn't done much, but we'll show that in the next video. Uh, but no, we did have a relaxing time. I'm glad we did it. I think she is too. But now, yeah, it's time to get back to work. Yeah. So, um, do you want to just give them a sneak peek of what's in here? Just the let same, them look. The same stuff that was in here when we left. It is a mess from that last clean out we did. And then I uh, brought home a whole bunch of stuff from... Your sister. From my sister, but it's a mess. We haven't touched anything. And now it's time to get back to work. So yes, I'm, yes. we're looking forward to it. We are going to do our, we have a little bit different plan for our business strategy from here on out. We talked a lot about that. And so we'll talk about that in the next video. Okay, but, but for now, like and subscribe, share with your friends. And if you're picking a vacation joint, unless you like to eat a lot and you like to drink a lot, and that's fine. Y'all can, that's, I, I'm not against it. I used to be a big drinker, just not anymore. Um, I wouldn't recommend downtown Cleveland. Maybe other areas, but not downtown. And we're going to draw. The oh, drawing. yeah, the drawing is coming up this weekend. So, so, yeah. All right, cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. I am Steve. I'm Donna. We're happy our treasures. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.